So you made it into the tournament, hmm? Pretty much. It's Saku today. She's a really big fan of Master N or whatever. You're such an idiot. Huh? Yeah, you're an idiot. You don't even know that there are people suffering because of you. Hey! Suffering because of me? What? What does she mean? Talk? Guess I'll go check on Canard's guild shop. Hey! <laughs> What's wrong? Don't tell me you're still bitter about what happened the other day. Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. No, I'm not. My bad, then. So, how's the old hag doing? If you mean Pi, she's busy running around as usual. Hmm. Hey. I might be vehemently against the idea of you joining GU, but I don't necessarily agree with her. I thought you guys didn't need someone who couldn't be used as an epitaph user. And just learn how to summon your avatar and the problem's solved. I have always believed that if you join us as a member of GU, you will eventually awaken to your full potential as you continue coming in contact with Ida. Aren't you an optimist? Please, call it positive thinking. By the way, I wanted to ask, how have Syllabus and Gaspard been lately? They're fine. Same as always. I see. I was a little worried, since they haven't been responding to my emails. They're not babies. They'll be fine. Hmm... No, I'm still concerned. I think I'll swing by and check on them. Alrighty then. Well... See you later, Haseo. Uh, hey, Kuhn! Hey! I said wait! I'll... Don't ignore me, Kuhn! <sighs> huh? What's wrong, Gaspard? Kuhn, I... <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you crying? What happened, Gaspard? They're scared. Nobody will buy anything. If they did, they're afraid they'll be PK'd. PK'd? What are you talking about? What's going on? <sighs> Gaspard... And that's why I told you to give up on the shop. Give up on the shop? What do you mean, Syllabus? Well... Spill it. Ever since you started participating in the arena battles, we've been getting bullied a lot. Huh? By who? Kestrel PKers, the ones who were always going after you before. At first, they just made fun of us for running a shop, nothing physical. But things kept getting worse. And now, they even attack other players who do business with us. Oh man, that's terrible. No wonder there's no one doing business here. Why? Why didn't you tell me? Well... You've been working so hard at the arena, and... <laughs> and... And we... We didn't want to worry you. <laughs> You're always so busy. <laughs> we asked them to stop so many times. Again and again. 
but they just kept laughing and saying it's our own fault for helping Haseo. Hmm. Since Sakaki prevented them from going after me, they go after everyone around me instead. It's awful! And now we just don't know what to do anymore! <laughs> Stop that! Why don't you just beat them up if they try to interfere? You keep crying and backing down, so they keep coming back for more! Well, that's true, but... You understand, right? So then... Yeah, I understand. I'll go meet with Kestrel's Guildmaster and talk to him about this. What? Are you serious? You're going to meet with Gabi? Yes, I am. So listen, Gaspard. Don't make such a sad face anymore, okay? Out you. Haseo! I'm going. I am the Guildmaster of Canard, after all. <laughs> Haseo! I, I don't know! <sighs> I won't be satisfied till Gabi gets a piece of my mind for not controlling his members. Easy. We're not going there to pick a fight, Haseo. Just to talk. Got it? Yeah, I know. Keep this in mind. A Guildmaster's words represents his members' words. A Guildmaster's actions represents his members' actions. A Guildmaster is more than just a title, Haseo. It's the name for the one who takes responsibility for all his members. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go, Haseo. We'll be heading to Delta Sneering Failing Empire. That's where Kestrel's guild headquarters are located. An area word. When a guild gets as big as Kestrel, they are granted their own exclusive area from CC Corp. I see. I'll be waiting for you at Makanu's Chaos Gate. When you're ready, come and invite me. Got to invite Kuhn and go to Delta Sneering Failing Empire. Kestrel's headquarters is at Delta Sneering Failing Empire. Their headquarters? An original design from CC Corp, huh? Well, aren't they treated like kings? It's not just for show. It's possible to use this area as a simple meeting place. But the Guildmaster can also place monsters within the area and use it as a training ground for members. You know a lot. <laughs> Look who's here. Now, what would someone who's already left Kestrel want with us? Uh, is that true, Kuhn? <laughs> you didn't know? That esteemed sir there used to be none other than Kestrel's assistant guild master. <sighs> I left because of our differences of opinion and how we felt the guild should be managed. Well, anyway... We came here to demand the immediate cessation of all canard bullying. What? Canard? <laughs> but um, I don't know anything about them. Hey, you heard of them? Nope. I sure haven't. <laughs> Wait a sec. Wasn't the stupid little beast player we bullied the last time from that guild? Oh, you mean that really stupid looking one? The one that fell apart and cried after we threatened him a little? Oh, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> you bastards! Calm down. Don't let their taunts get under your skin, Haseo. They just want a legitimate reason to PK you. Damn! Huh? Hmm, is 
that all? Are you all done? Sure has been a while, Gobby. <laughs> it sure has. Now, what were we supposed to talk about again? I already explained it in the email I sent you. <laughs> it is my policy not to read emails that are more than three lines long. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that's right. It just slipped my mind what kind of a guy you were. Man, you've changed so little that it almost ticks me off. Oh yeah? Well, you too. <laughs> hey, beast guy! Do something about those damn PKers in your guild. They keep on stalking and bullying my guild members for no reason. You're their guild master. Take some responsibility for their actions. Why not let those that want to PK, PK? What the? And PKKers can do as they want to. If you don't want to die, then run! <laughs> that, too, is the way of the world! Lord Gabi isn't a chicken wuss master like you. However... Wait, when did he move from the throne? I will not allow for boredom, if you've only got boring endings prepared. Uh, uh... Haseo, you're participating in the next Demon Palace tournament, right? What a coincidence! We're in that tournament ourselves. And our first round opponent's name is spelled H-A-S-E-O. <laughs> what a coincidence, huh? Player killers, player killer killers, basically they're all battle freaks. It's not like me to make noble promises. So then, why don't we just settle all of our petty differences in the tournament? Bordeaux! I yes, Gabi? Will you win? I yes, of course I will. So you promise you'll win? Yes. Promises are only promises when they're kept. You know what will happen if you lose, don't you? Yes. Yes, sir. If I win our match, then you'll never bother Kennard ever again? Uh, of course. Huh. That isn't like you. How can I trust you? Where's the guarantee that you'll keep your promise? That's not your concern. Promises we make with Gabi are indeed absolute to us. If we break a promise with Gabi, there will no longer be a place for us in Kestrel. Exactly. We're leaving. Negimaru, Grain, we've got no time left until the tournament. Bordeaux! Yes? A cornered beast like you are now is a very beautiful thing. <laughs> Thanks. That should take care of it. <sighs> what is it? No. Uh, it's nothing. Gabi. Huh? He's gone. When did he... That... Gabi guy. It felt like he already knew everything that happened. He might seem like a bit of a fool, but he knows all the vital points. He didn't become the head of the 5,000 strong Kestrel for nothing. It seems useless to negotiate any further. Let's go back to Kennard's at home. 